Dan Bradford is coming home for the second time. I'm happy. I'll be more happy when everything is up and put away. <laughs> Bradford just 24 hours away from moving back to Cary Lane in Coffee Park. His is the first house to be rebuilt since the destructive wildfires. Everything is brand new from doorknobs to light switches to the kitchen sink. Got water, I got hot water, I got cold water. It's great. And little did I know that when I left here <laughs> October 9th that it would take eight months to get back in. The wildfires burned thousands of homes to the ground, leaving a path of destruction for miles. Bradford, one of the lucky few, able to reuse the original foundation of his house. It was not contaminated by the firestorm. Construction started last December, but there was lots of bureaucratic red tape to navigate. So it's this big, prolonged process of getting funds in hand to pay the contractor. That's probably the most frustrating part of the whole thing, because they work hard. New signs of life are everywhere. 167 homes now under construction across Santa Rosa. It is good to see. Um, it's good to see uh, not only for um, for us as uh, the fire department and firefighters who are here trying to protect these very homes, um, but for all of us collectively to, to see it moving forward. This was the house Dan Bradford lost, and this is his new one. I just hope it, it continues. I hope people see it and realize, hey, we can rebuild. Welcome home, Dan. In Santa Rosa, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.